Oh, there it is. Howdy, folks. Uncle Bumble here. Uh, there's a winter storm going on, but I figured up here in the uh, forest here, so it wouldn't be too bad. I'm at Port Crescent State Park. Gonna do a little hiking and huffing and puffing because I'm breaking my own trail through the snow. Got about maybe eight inches, but then there's like ice and then like another two inches of snow. So I'm post holing a little bit. It is what it is. Uh, everybody probably thinks I'm knocking futz for being out here because there's a 40 mile an hour wind gust and there was snow on the roads. Oh no. In uh, join the Port Crescent State Park. As we can see the map behind uh it's not a bad idea places like this where they you know it's closed for the winter so there's no handouts but if you take a picture of that there sign you got yourself a handy dandy little map so but uh i'm gonna hike my way out to the uh to the lake take some pictures of the lake this is this kind of uh i got I was a bad on lunch at work and i'm like i'm going hiking today so no real meal or anything, just just out in the snow, enjoying the day. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Well, we've had some freezing rain and, and the snow here. The snow was quite the snow, but I'm thinking that this came down in that freezing rain that we had last week because this looks rather fresh. The needles are all still kind of green, but it's hard telling in the wintertime, you know. Needles don't tend to brown up that fast in the winter, but it is just beautiful out here. All the trees are loaded with snow. The wind's just a howling, but down here in the in the forest, it's nice and calm and peaceful. I don't know if I'd mentioned already, but I'm breaking my own trail here in the snow. There's like six inches of powder, then there's ice underneath it, so it's a little rough going, but that's still a good day. So as I huff and puff and catch my breath here a little bit. I did uh I did work last night, so when I at work I was complaining about my legs being tired, so maybe coming out here and pounding through the snow up and down these hills wasn't the smartest uh, of ideas, but I've never been accused of being too bright. <laughs> uh, you gotta come out here when you can, you know what I mean? Like tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so all this will be gone and uh it's getting Getting late in the winter and it's been kind of an odd winter it's been cold and then it rains and clears everything up and then it's colder than hell and then it rains so i'm going to take advantage of this while i can and i'll just suck it up at work tonight so all right i'm gonna keep moving on There's us a fire starting resource, our friend the birch. But uh, in these pine forests like this, all you gotta do is get a bunch of the fine pine twigs, like the ends of the branch, the end end of the branch, like pencil lead side stuff, and uh, pile that stuff up and that stuff goes right up. It's, it's just as good as birch. As long as you got like a lighter or a match, as long, you know, you're not trying to catch that with, uh, a spark if you're trying to catch you yeah, if you're ugh. if you're trying to start a fire with like a fire sparker or some type of sparks alone you're gonna want the birch but if you got some sort of sustained flame like uh like i said a lighter or uh, a match these little guys right here all this break all that off knock the snow off but maybe put it like in your outer layer pocket dry it up a little bit and that stuff will that stuff will get a fire going for you there, that way this wasn't a totally pointless trip. I taught you guys something that you probably already knew. Looks to me like uh, I interrupted somebody's dinner here. A little digging. There's some prints hopping off. I think it's probably a squirrel or jungle cat, depending on whether or not you're talking to me or my wife. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, it's uh, I think it's my chest rig video where I talk about that. But all right, onward be able to see him moving there kind of in the center of the screen but i'm not the only one out here today of course they're probably like what are you doing out here you dumb fat bastard shouldn't you be at home terrorizing a pizza that's not a bad idea either all right
So I'm just standing here, taking a little break, turning some uh, candy bar into some calories and uh, debating on whether or not I want to take the time to dig the water out of my pack. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about the winter time is you, know, you got to dig your water out of someplace, you know, and the hydration during the carriers during the summertime are convenient. I just wanted to show some other convenience here. A convenient place to set my hat and gloves as I stand here and not have to shove them into a pocket or anything. That's the nice thing about this chest rig is pulled the candy bar out of there, place to set my, my hat and gloves. I'm a big guy, so I'm kind of used to resting things there as I'm sitting around. But uh, maybe a bowl of ice cream, you, you know, what, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's just... Just enjoying the, all the snow on the trees. I'm sure everybody's tired of seeing snow on the trees and snow in my beard, but this is the stuff that I used to do when I was a kid. I didn't have a backpack and all this gear, but I'd go and wander out in the woods and take my dog with me. And so, you know, you guys don't grow up, your toys just get more expensive. So, all right, I think I might dig some water out, you know, because in the wintertime, layers, layers, hydration layers of hydration no just just layers in hydration all right all right so now i'm in the jack pines and she's kind of breezy out here so but yeah it's just dunes and then pines and then some dunes and then pines the nice thing about walking around out here in the winter time is it's not any different than walking around out here in the summertime in summertime you gotta fight the sand in the wintertime you gotta fight the snow but there ain't the skeeters and the sweating that was going on when I was out here in the summertime, so like I said before, why sweat over here when you don't need to be? All right, well, there's a nice wind tunnel. There's a fat head in the way. Let me see here. There, oh, there we go. Something tells me there's water laying over there. So. But, anyways, I'm making my way. Yep, yep, here we go. Keep moving before we get a soaker. Ah. ah. Make my way back to the car as I grunt and groan, sniff and snort, and uh, call it a day. He like said, I gotta work last night, gotta work tonight, do a lot of work walking around when I'm at work, and this isn't exactly the easiest walking out here, but I'm glad I came. Uh, maybe I'll give you a little shot of the roads and the weather that would make some people think I was knucking futs for coming out here. You're probably not wrong, but you know, hey, all right. Oh, here's the roads. I don't know, they're not that bad. I mean, visibility is a little low, but don't do 60. Keep your hands on the wheel, don't record when you're driving, you'll be all right.